Hi everyone. We are here at the Bible reading. We hope you guys are having a good day. It's been storming off and on here all day. Sherm had to go over to the pharmacy today. He got caught in the rain. Today we're going to be reading Acts chapter 14, verse 8 through 28. Got that? Psalm 140. Got it? Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. All right. All right, let's uh, get started here with Acts. And there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand upright on thy feet. And he leaped and walked. And when the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying in the speech of Lacania, The gods are come down to us in the likeness of men. And they called Barnabas Jupiter, and Paul Mercurius, because he was the chief speaker. See, what they're doing is they're sure you're not paying attention. Oh, he ain't paying attention. You're playing with socks. I'm not playing with socks. Yes, you are. They had to be put in their place. Pay attention. I'm paying attention now. What they're doing here is they're worshiping Paul and Barnabas. They're supposed to be worshiping God, not Paul and Barnabas. So and, you know, hmm. that's what they're doing. That's what a lot of people do. When they see them perform miracles, they start to worship them. But they wouldn't be able to perform these miracles if it wasn't for God. Then the priest of Jupiter, which was before their city, brought oxen and garlands unto the gates, and would have done sacrifices with the people, which when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of, they rent their clothes and ran in among the people, crying out and saying, Sirs, why do you these things? We also are men of like passions, like you, and preach unto you that ye should turn from these vanities unto the living God, which made heaven and earth and the sea and all things that are therein, who in times past suffered all nations to walk in their own ways. Nevertheless, he left not himself without witness in that he did good and gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons filling our hearts with food and gladness. And with these things, scarce restrained they the people, that they had not done sacrifice unto them. They were going to sacrifice things to Barnab Barnabas and Paul, like they were gods. And they rent their clothes, they tore their clothes, and was screaming to them, you know, why are you doing this? We are just men, we are not gods. Stop this crazy, animal-like behavior. Stop it. And there came thither certain Jews from Anoch and Iconium, who persuaded the people, and having stoned Paul, drew him out of the city, supposing he had been dead. They stoned Paul. They thought he was dead. But he wasn't. How be it, as the disciples stood round about him, he rose up, and came into the city, 
and the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derbe. And when they had preached the gospel to the city, and that thought many, taught many, they returned again to Lystra and to Iconium and Anoch, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. And when they had ordained them elders in every church and had prayed with fasting, they commended them to the Lord of whom they believed. And after they had passed through out to Cydia, they came to Papalia. And when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down into Attilia, and thence sailed to Anoch, from whence they had been recommended to the grace of God for the work which they fulfilled. And when they were come and had gathered the church together, they rehearsed all that God had done with them, and how he had opened the door of faith unto the Gentiles. And there they abode long time with the disciples. So after a long, long journey of preaching the word, Paul and Barnabas for a while spent some time with the other disciples for a while. <laughs> a lot of people thought Paul was dead. They stoned him so bad that they thought they had killed him. But God was like, no, it's not your time. Rise up. <laughs> Paul rose up. He was not dead. He got up and started preaching again the next day. All right, so that's where we're going to stop with the book of Acts today. And now we are going to go to a beautiful psalm, Psalm 140. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagined mischiefs in their heart, continually as they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Selah. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who have purpose to overthrow my goings. The proud have hit a snare for me, and cords, they have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me, Selah. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my God. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. Selah. As for the head of those that can pass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire into deep pits that they rise not up again. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. And that was Psalm 140. And we have one proverb today. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. So true. So, so true. If you've ever had a broken, crushed spirit, you know, you know what that's talking about. 
Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye guys. God bless.